Night Emmet for the Christmas by Ben Miller, Chapter 25. To Torvald's surprise, the dormitory was exactly as he'd known it as a child. There, there were the rows and rows of hand-carved beds, neatly made with sheets and blankets, chalkboards clearly visible in the glow of flickering nightlights. Now that there was Emily and Miss Truro to make notes on them, of course, now there was there any children to make notes about. Instead, at the far end of the room, with his back to them, sitting on a wooden chair by a stove, was an old man. He was sitting very still with his head bent forward, and Torva wondered if he might be asleep. Torva gave the sermon a meaningful look, and understandingly, the elf wished to gain a better vantage point. The giant tiptoed around the edge of the building, dangling Torva at arm's length. They approached one of the nearby windows, and now Torva could see that the old man's head was bent, not because he was asleep, but because he was leaning forward, studying what appeared to be an old set of photograph. Confused, Torva looked at the snowman and shrugged, but the snowman signalled for him to stay quiet and keep watching. Torva did as he was told and turned back just in time to see the old man heave a deep sigh, open the door of the stove and throw the photograph on the fire. For the few seconds, the old man watched, unmoving, as the stiff paper buckled on the hot coals. Then, as if having second thoughts, he snatched a fire iron and swept the picture onto the floor. The edge had come alight and he immediately smothered the flame with a cushion, taking great care that every last spark was extinguished. He smothered the blackened paper against his shirt, placed it in his breast pocket and stood up and walked to the window. Thinking quickly, the snowman swept Torval up and retreated to the highway, doing his best impersonation of a snowy hill walk. Now the Torval took much, not the Torval took much notice, but was too engrossed in the furlong finger in, the furlonged figure in the window. As he watched, the old man reached into his pocket and held his palm to the light, as if he was studying some small object. What could it be? Torva squinted, trying to focus, then the object flashed silver. It all became clear. It was the copper elf's coin. Torva gasped. You know who that is now, don't you? said the snowman. Yes, said Torva. It's me.